Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to Begu TV channel on, on YouTube and I'm glad you're having a good time. We want to start a new series, Academic Success Series, inspired by this book of mine, Achieving Success in the Universities on Amazon. You, you can get a copy for yourself. Over the years, I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of students, some of them as classmates. I remember you know, some of these brilliant guys I've met over the years in GSS, there were guys like Edward, Edward Fempon, Said Matu, Tahiru, I mean, these were guys, Kennedy, uh, Kinsley, and all that. In SS, I had guys who were so smart, like Josiah Bonipapo, Reginald Doku, Ali Sampson, and a couple of guys, Dixon, Afram Dixon, and all of them. These are guys that academically were, were top-notch, and... One of the things I've observed about these guys, you know, at the university, having an opportunity to, to be working at the university as a lecturer, I see students come every day. Every year we have, we admit, I mean, different students. And almost all the time, if, if you get closer to them and you, want to, you ask them when they come during their matriculation, you ask them the class they want to complete school with, every one of them is likely to say that they want first class. You see, it is, not in, it is not enough to wish for something. A lot of people wish for good things, including academic excellence, but they are unable to bring it into life. They are unable to bring their dream, their desire into life. I have noticed that those who make it, make it academically, are those who are dedicated to seeking knowledge, dedicated to studying, dedicated to looking for information, committed and work hard at it. 2017, one young man who was, I think, from Jolo or Abilimpe or so in Accra and attended Infancy Pim Senior High School and then had opportunity to come to University of Energy and Natural Resources to read BSc, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, How was in first class from first year to final year. A gentleman by name Roland Tagai. I mean, after his last paper, I had opportunity to, to meet him. And to interview him, I ask him, so what has been your secret for all these four, four years, solid academic performance, first class, first year, first semester, first class, final year, last semester, final year, and finish as the valedictorian that had the coveted overall best student award from the of Energy and Natural Resource Graduating Club 2017. I think he should be in, in South Korea or something, doing a master's. I think now he's a graduate assistant, had a scholarship. I have seen over the years how ordinary students, just by committing themselves to hard work, working on their on their on their on their books, sitting their asses down and studying, committedly and rigorously and proactively looking for information, studying, have transformed their lives and into 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 better people. Yes, Nelson Mandela once said that education is the game changer. How do people succeed at that level? commit at that level. One thing I need you to know that I respectfully submit to you in this video is that people who achieve academic excellence work hard. They work hard. Never think that succeeding academically is just by stroke of, of some luck. I mean, some people think that, oh, so, you know, some you go like, oh, as for these guys, they are, they are intelligent. They, you know, they were born intelligent. Me, no, hard work. Sit down. That mass that is struggling you, that, that cause that is struggling you, if you can work at it enough every day, looking for information from diverse angles, some as, as, as YouTube videos, some as, as lectures, some as I mean, seeking for information from your friends, you can make it hard work. Unfortunately, sometimes some people are so busy, they don't even have time to read. They're so busy. Even in, in, at the lecture hall, they, they are in a hurry to go, go and do something else. And yet, they want to finish with first class. Some people even will study and, and will leave a portion. That this one, if it comes in the exams, I will ask somebody. Why would you want to put your future in somebody's hands? What if the person you want to ask doesn't know? I submit to you. If you have to succeed academically, like others have done, if you also sit down and commit yourself, that no matter what I need to get us, we will make it. We will have a lot to share. We will have a lot to share in this series. And I hope that somebody will be inspired to start working so hard dedicating themselves to the pursuit of knowledge. Pass full bonjour name at Twitter at Twitter. Over. See you some other time. My name.